Thank you very much. Uh, now we have all the two boxes in Usa. Isa is in and Tofa Akwesi is in. White shoes, red gloves, so much with a weight of 184.5 pounds from the Atopashi Boxing Gymnasium. And this is the man who is coming with the official record of seven fights, no defeats, no draw, seven wins. Three of the wins came by way of knockout under the tutelage of one of the deputy coaches of the Black Bombers, Coach Aka. Nete from the Atokwash Boxing Gymnasium. There is the boxer who was born in Boko in the Upper East Region from the Sabal Zongo. Presenting to you the boxer is a
What can you say about it? Clearly, this is uh, a weight that is heavy, and you could just see from the kind of punches we are uh, seeing in the, just in the first round. You could see they didn't come to psych themselves like uh, the, the the lower weights. They came in with all the energy, with all the power punches, and I, I bet you we, we are in for another uh, uh, very big fight. Um, I believe that uh, this is the proof will be the and now we are in just round two. Let's take round two as it counts. The five is in the blue corner, and also Inusa Isa from Atokwashi in the red corner. In the first round, you could clearly see that the five is was being pummeled with barrage of punches coming in from Inusa Isa. As round two beckons on, let's see how it pans out. Will they side each other? First boxer to throw the punch is Isa, and then he comes in again with another one, straight to the head of Tofa Agishi. Tofa is coming in, and he's like a wounded lion. Let's see what he, what, what will be his antidote. What will be what he? Well, I think Inusa is using his reach so well, but he must manage his punches. Yes, I, I just said it. I just said it. The way he throw the punches. Uh, I mean, it, 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 it can easily go down because it doesn't time his punches, it just come out and throw it. So when you are throwing punches like this, uh, the least your opponent does, I mean, you, you, are, you, are, you are on the floor. So that's, that's exactly what happened. I mean, if you check the face of Tupac Bishi, he's bleeding. I mean, from, from, from the tip of the mouth, he's, he's, he's sexually bleeding. And if the barrage of punches coming in from Inusa, 
can again touch him, it will be another blunder for Tofa Abisi. But Tofa has been able to do something in the second round. He has been able to put the big man on the canvas in the person of Inusa Isa. Yeah, I, I think he done, he done so well. He, he, he took advantage of the, the, the disadvantage of Inusa. Uh, uh, Inusa comes in with the blow and will always leave his guard. And that is exactly where I can see when he realized that he did come through the blows, leave the guard. And he just went into the, 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 the gap that was created by Inusa. I believe that the corner of Inusa has to do some food. Uh, Inusa is doing well, so he must be. It, it, it must be managed well from the panel for him to win this round. I was surprised if he loses this round. Already it's gone, it, it, it's gone down many. It's almost about losing that this, this particular round and some other round. Definitely. I mean, this is the second round, and then in the first round we could easily give it to Inusa Isa. But the second round, I think Tofa Abisi has come up with wonderful combination. Although he is at the receiving end, he has made sure that Inusa this is the canvas and Inusa went down. I, I can tell you that Inusa is a poster clearly. It's a poster who doesn't like to receive punches. So he runs away from the punch. There are times in the course of running, he meets a punch and that, that is not going to I think if he, as a boxer, he must stand, look at where the blows are coming from and do the necessary dodging and also counter attack his disciples. That is what he's not doing. But, but, I mean, for Albesi, he came in the first and realized that he nearly almost, you know, you know lost the, the uh, uh, went down, but he managed to stand. And I think that coming in the second round, he realized that he must do something extra in order for him to be in the game. And he has done something extra, and that is what he's helping him at the moment. I mean, uh, uh, the, the bell has just gone, so we'll be looking for uh, round number three. But round number two gone out there, round number one, we can equally say that uh, Inusa was on top of the game. But round two, I can I can say emphatically that Tofa Agbesi has come into the into the bout because he actually won the second round because he scored a knockdown. And as a knockdown, every referee or judge will immediately award him ten to eight. How big if it had been a second knockdown, then it would have been a 10-6 or a 10-5 in favor of Tufa Agbisi. But as Inusa went down and then came up, which means the second round has been won by this nice gentleman for Agbisi by 10-8. Well, if, if you look critically look at the, the second round, I think that uh, um, Inusa was not doing what he did in the first round. So that, 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 that clearly helped uh, Tufa Agbisi to come into the, into the fight. And it took advantage again. It took advantage of the money, many unnecessary uh, blows that kept coming from Inusa. Uh, 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 identify a gap that is an opening in the face of uh, Inusa. So far, went straight into that face, and uh, that that, that uh, 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 Inusa to the ground. And he must do something extra in this third round to recover for the lost uh, round. That 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 that. that they love to do that. But we are still in the cruiserweight division, and this is Atopashi's Isa Inusa fighting against Sonia's Tofa Akeshi in the cruiserweight division. This is the Deluxe Professional Boxing League Fight Night 6. This is the cruiserweight division, and as the two pugilists, Inusa Musa and Tofa Akeshi. Tofa Akeshi has his gum on the floor. So definitely, it has to go into water and back into the mat again. It should be take more than five seconds for him to come back and fight. Yes, this is excellent, excellent. Well, I think Inusa has done what exactly I asked him to do. He's, he's been able to, to uh, uh, ensure that Tofa Agbesi is into the canvas, which is uh, he has excellent, excellently done. Now, clearly, he's leaving. He must just control, manage it, uh, control uh, the fight, and, and, and not just throw blows or, or uh, throw the hands anyhow, else he will again receive another unnecessary blow. He should just manage the fight because clearly it looks better than, 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 than Agbesi. It's just
just keep the right jab, do the movement like he did in the first one. I don't know why he's not moving like he did in the first one. Now it's, it's, it's going too much into the infighting. This is very unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. This, this very unfortunate. is accidental. Because yes. this is not done in boxing. You should listen to rules. Listen to the referee. He is the man in the middle. Until he tells you to box, you don't box. And that should be the discipline side of Usa Inusa. He is the taller of the two. He should make sure he uses his jabs and his punches very, very well. Fitzo, Fitzo, in situations like this, I expect... Boxing League, and this was being put up by IMAX Media and also the GDA. As you can see, say so both fighters are really throwing wild, and um, which I feel, in terms of their defense, if they get caught, someone is going to go down. This, this cry, I think Tofa is, is crying for dislocation of the shoulder, and I think he cannot. He cannot. It's either a blow or these wild, wild, wild blows that are coming up. Those are it. And you see, I could, I could see and feel as, as a result of the way they are throwing wild. You know, our arms, when you throw wild and you don't really connect and it just throw wild out the wind, you have body tissues in the shoulders that can just twist off in a moment and you can see that coming. And you can see that is happening here. You can see his head, his shoulders. And I mean, uh, if the ring doctors check and he cannot really continue, then I think they can call the fight off. 
Well, I think I think it, it was a, a, a very heavy blow from uh, Inusa, and he landed on the, on, the, on, the, on the wrong part. I mean, on the on the forearm of uh, uh, Tofa. Uh, let's see, let's see whether he can return. It looks like it's not okay to return to to the the, the fight one, once again. I think that he is he, able to. The fans are not happy. I mean, people are looking for the necessary. Um, um, knockout, but the, the knockout is still not coming. The fight is still ongoing, and Tofa has come back from the dislocation, and he's fighting against this hammer. I call him the hammer. He knew Samusa, he's throwing wild punches, and these wild punches will end up with you exerting so much energy and leaving you dry. I believe he needs to take his punches, and then he time his punches very well. By doing so, he will put most of his opponents on the canvas. Exactly, so, so he got that on point. And I feel Inusa should capitalize on Tofa having an injury on his left arm. He can capitalize on that, make sure he disengage what he can throw from his right hand. Because for now, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. I think it's over. It's over. It's over. I don't think Tofa can make it up. I don't think Tofa can make it up. That blow... Is very devastating. Yes, this is the cruiserweight division. And I told you, in terms of the cruiserweight, there are so many things that whenever you see, it's very, very dangerous. This, they have buckets, buckets of punches. Watch it. Watch how he just went off. The barrage of punches came through, and then he was hit by a hammer coming in from this man. I told you. The man should just watch very, very critically and know how to throw. That's all. And this is how it all happened here at the corner of Tofa Agoshi, who has actually collapsed by a very wild punch being thrown by the man I call Inusa Kisa. And you see, Cecil, as I was saying, both fighters were throwing wild, and I was much concerned about their defense. Because the way they are throwing wild, they are not just throwing wild, but you could see that in their punches is really, really powerful. It's really, really powerful. And you can see, and if you miss such a defense and you get counted in that power punch, you go down. And I, as you can see, in uh, Tofa, is just down. And I'm just hoping that the ring doctors can make sure they can revive him from his unconsciousness. And that's what we are all hoping to see. I can mean, see that Isa is the happier man there in the ring. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, this this always happens. This is boxing. This happens always. It's, this is not the first time this should happen in, in, in boxing. Exactly. Boxing people are being knocked out. They are being revived even at the hospital. But with this barrage of punch, all that Tofa needs is air. Just give him the oxygen that he needs. Give him the free space. Exactly. Then you apply the ice. He comes back to his normal senses. You just wake up just now. This happens to most of the boxers. Even kickboxers also go through the same channel. But hey, the guy is just going to wake up. This is a punch. This was a very, very heavy punch that he just went off. Tofa just went off because he, the, the punch was very, very big. The punch is very, very powerful indeed. And you can see with both fighters in the cruiserweight division, you can see that Issa, Issa had a lot a lot of power punch in his hands which so far couldn't have any solutions to do with that power punch from uh isa uh, in Lisa. and you can see right from round one you can see that so far had wobbly legs anytime isa connects a punch you can see that so far was having difficulties in i mean open that punch in him he tried in the round two to see if he can get a knockdown which he did but i mean Inside Inusa's corners know what they can do and they know what they told the boxer that you know what just go in there throw in the punch and make sure make sure it connects and when it connects that's what we can see from here that so far couldn't make it to the count he's just down flat and we are just hoping they can revive him the ring doctors are doing what they could to revive him and I'm sure they can revive so far aggressive yes I mean surely this, this is the cruiserweight. We all know the cruiserweight division. We've got so many things in place. In terms of the cruiserweight, whenever we're talking about cruiserweight, 
they've got massive and massive and massive and massive and massive punches this is what what comes in whenever we're talking about punches all around i mean we've witnessed in the cruiserweight division how heavier the punches are being thrown and inusa has demonstrated why he is the king of the cruiserweight the punch that went in actually has taken tofa off and then tofa is dazed i mean taking him now tofa is actually being or he's been taken away to go and be revived this happens in boxing all the time this happens in boxing all the time this happens in boxing all the time i mean um, this happens in boxing but we can't take away the shine away from the deluxe professional boxing league fight night six this has been so so wonderful this has been so so marvelous we witnessed boxing that has never happened before but at the end of the day hey this is accident it happens everywhere and this is a game the moment it comes through we always know that the you just come up because we've got the ambulance here the men who are here the emergency technical uh, technical teams who are also here we know for sure that hey it's just going to happen it has actually happened already let's just look at the positives and talk about it the Lusa has done marvelously well even though the knockout came at a latter stage whereby he has worked to for very very well this was the last draw that everybody thought will happen to a very beautiful night of boxing well so i agree with you and what what we just saw needs to tell people out there that boxing is a sport for no joke it's a combat sport and if you lose any side you could get knocked down that's why i always say that boxing is no joke if you really want to enter into the sport of boxing you need to think twice about it because it's no joke any split error you can get knocked down and go up but i mean let's take the positive out of it what we witnessed the crowds cheering the boxers the crowd cheering the musicians and the fantastic night we witnessed here in the bukum boxing arena we need to thank our sponsors imax tcl techno and i mean deluxe renault and all of them they've done really really well to collaborate to bring such a fantastic night that we witnessed here in the deluxe professional boxing league fight night six